They have impressed me. So I, I will I will say that. Um, you know what we what we were looking at and what we were foreseeing a little bit um, before the draft. Um, we see, and, and what I mean about that is we see four rookies who are very competitive. We see four rookies who who are eager and are excited to kind of test their will here in the PBA. Um, I don't think there's a question that they can play in this league. It really now it's just a matter of adjusting to the league. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you say we're young and we are. We, we're young. Um, and what adds to that is we're young together. And um, we're going to really rely on the vets that we have now and even the younger vets that we have to kind of carry us because, um, like I said, a, a young team needs veteran leadership on and off the court. And uh, we have several guys who are ready to step in and, and, and showcase that. And of course, JV is one of them. Um, but really, you know, again, just being able to be on a court, um, spending time together, going through games together. I think the experience is going to be something that, that we're looking forward to. Um, you know, young, but again, we're ready to play and, and, and you know, we're going to do our best. Sometimes coaches get a lot of ideas uh, going into the next offseason. Oh, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Are we going to see <laughs> uh, a bit of a different Alaska compared to what we saw last time in the bubble? Um, I think you will see uh, a little different um, Alaska. I, I think especially defensively, you'll see um, us being a little bit more creative. Um, you know, we, we do have younger legs, so we could try things out. And, um, you know, we feel like we have the, the, the team and the players that can do it. But, you know, it's not going to be too crazy. You know how it is in the, in the PBA. You have to be disciplined. You have to, you have to be good at one or two things and then kind of, you know, kick, kick butt at that. And then, you know, have your little counters here and there. But, um, yeah, you're right, though. I, I've been spending a lot of time, you know, not just reading, but watching clips, watching basketball and, and, and you know, watching all the leagues everywhere, not just the NBA. And, you know, you, you see things that you may want to try. And I'm not going to lie, we've been kind of trying a little bit. And well, we'll see what works out for us. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I'd like to say that We Not Me is a culture. And we, we instill that culture, um, you know, day in and day out. So um, right now, whether you're, a, a, you know, a super vet like we call JV or a younger vet like we call Maverick or, or Jerron and, and, and Kevin, um, they still need to hold up the standards that, that, that we talk about and discuss each and every day. And those standards are the culture. And that we not me is a description of, you know, how we do things each and every day. So we're, we're looking to build on that. Um, with the new pieces, are your players different? Of course, you know, um, they, they have strengths and weaknesses, like uh, players from everywhere. Um, you know, they're still, a lot of them are still gonna get used to the, to the, to the way things are played here in the PBA. Um, but like I said, the culture doesn't change. And right now we just kind of wanna be able to showcase, you know, the, the rookies and, and even the younger guys that we picked up during the, the off season and, and Youssef, and Gab Banal um, to be able to use their skills in a way where, you know, where we're a better team than we were last year. This lineup, a bit younger than what fans are normally used to. There's still a veterans there, but you have four rookies who are exciting names and your thoughts on them, seeing them in action for the first few days. Uh, it's been great. Um, just being able to practice with them uh, for the past three to four weeks, it's just I could see the hunger in them. Um, them coming in early for practice, um, getting their shots up, getting their reps up, but also learning from uh, those around them. You know, uh, you could see some of the 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 younger players here now. Like I could see a little bit of me in them, like being hungry, being willing to learn, and that's like half of the battle is just not having such a high uh, ego and just being able to want to learn from others. Um, staying in after, asking questions, you know, it's, 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 it's going well. Do you see yourself a bit more of a, of a leader right now? You see, you, th you said that you see a bit of yourself in the rookies and uh, you're, you're kind of a vet in the league already, despite only being there just a few years. Do you feel that there's a bit more responsibility on that end for you? Right, yeah, I, I think it's more of a lot more responsibility, you know, um, being uh, one of the, you know, 
start sort of sophomore veteran kind of guy um i i just want to be able to still learn from a lot of people like learning is not going to be something i'm going to stop doing as, as as far as playing basketball but also being able to you know uh drop little hints little wisdom here and there you know that i've learned through these three years that i've been playing i think that's something that i want to take uh to account when I do uh, practice with some of the new players. Do you have a rookie this season? Well, and, uh, the great thing about Alaska is that um, we don't really have a rookie. We don't really have like, it's, it's more of a family. You know, we all want to learn from each other and we know that we're all young. So we want to build from each other. And uh, just having that, that oh, uh, he's a rookie, he's a vet. I think it, it hinders some of our growth. So we just really mm-hmm. focus on like, being a family, how could we be more of a brotherhood and uh, uh, being able to talk to each other, especially in a span, such a short span of like um, a month or two to practice and and, and and come together. I think that's why we're trying to uh, become a family.